very personal to the president when it comes with FI comes to FISA. Uh, this is an important tool in the intelligence community. He knows that, but he also knows that it was used and abused and politicized. Um, the fact that you had 29 members um, of the Obama administration, there are 29 individuals of the Intel community and Obama administration unmasking dozens of times using these tools that are are so much power to spy on an American citizen, to listen to their phone calls, to unmask their names. We have a Fourth Amendment in this country. It protects the rights of Americans. But the rights were not protected when it came to President Trump and his administration and Michael Flynn, whose name was leaked in a criminal fashion to the press. FISA was not used appropriately when a steel dossier full of lies that was, quote, salacious and unverified, in the words of Jim Comey, was used as the basis to get a FISA warrant and, and, and attested to as if it were truthful in a reason to spy on Carter Page. These tools were used and abused. The Fourth Amendment rights of several Americans were violated. A political campaign was spied upon. So any FISA concerns the President has, they're real, they're personal, and they should be considered as we move forward to reauthorize this valuable Can tool. I yeah. Yeah, sure. If I could, uh, Rick Grinnell is one of his last official acts at the request of Adam Schiff declassified transcripts of the phone calls between General Michael Flynn and Sergei Kislyak. Would President Trump encourage John Ratcliffe to facilitate the release of those transcripts? I haven't spoken to him on that, but this president has um, released, uh, not the president rather, but this president has overseen an ODNI that has given the American people a lot of information that I think they're entitled to see. And one of the things the president has asked for is where are the 302s, the summaries of that interview with Michael Flynn? Um, 302s, so the American people understand, these are summaries when you interview an individual, and it's routine that those 302s are given in short order right after the interview is done. It's when your memory is at its best. But in the case of Michael Flynn, those 302s were lost and, in fact, edited afterwards by corrupt Peter Strzok and Lisa Page. Uh, so there's a lot of questions, and this president has encouraged transparency on this issue, and so, I think it's so, a great thing. So in the absence of the 302s, would he encourage the release of the transcripts so that the American people can see exactly what transpired during this conversation? I haven't asked him that. I'd have to ask him that particular question. Yes, yeah, so let, uh, let me get to ex-CIA Chief John Brennan. How far, how willing are you able to go forward and say that he lied to the FBI or obstructed justice in the process of discussing Russian collusion and the Trump family? And on that note, you, we now have new information showing that, that Obama himself used foreign intelligence to actually request surveillance on the 5th and 26th floor of the Trump Tower. So to what extent was John Brennan behind that? To what extent can you share with us, with us what you know? Yeah, John Brennan, of all of the, uh, I'd, I'll call them bad actors, because indeed they were, um, of the Obama administration, John Brennan probably has the most to answer, because it was John Brennan who sat before Congress and said the Steele dossier, paid for by Hillary Clinton, paid for by the DNC, that that document played no part of the role in opening the Russia probe, when in fact we know it did, when in fact we know it was the impetus, um, a testified before a FISA court for its truthfulness to spy on, on the Trump campaign. So John Brennan, of all people, probably has more to answer. Uh, so too does Samantha Power uh, and Susan Rice, um, and these individuals who admitted under oath uh, that they, in fact, um, spoke to foreign leaders and uh, representatives of foreign leaders during their transition, but yet somehow during during the Trump transition, that was uncalled for. What has been done um, all throughout history was uncalled for, and meriting unmasking and meriting uh, cornering General, Lieutenant General Michael Flynn. All of these people have really legitimate questions to answer. I think we're slowly getting to the bottom of this, but it, it's a real travesty and really one of the biggest political scandals in modern history. Yes. Thank you, Kelly. 